agenda then uh, we've got an executive decision on agenda item 4 which I thought was coming on Wednesday 20th Wednesday, so like, yeah okay we, this was the deferred item from the previous council meeting uh, the previous cabinet meeting my guess is here to uh, just run us straight off you go Mike thank you good morning um, the Planet Local Plan is a preferred option stage. Um, in fact, Planet consulted on that in 2015. What they're now proposing is some very specific changes uh, to that document, and they're undertaking a targeted consultation just on those proposed alterations to their preferred options document. Uh, there's uh, an appendix to the report, and the first paragraph, 1.1 in that appendix, identifies five uh, cross-boundary issues for uh, your consideration. One of those uh, relates to the future of the former Manston Airport, which is now being proposed uh, for a mixed-use development of housing, employment and leisure uses. Um, this report was due, as Chairman just said, to be considered by uh, your previous meeting, but it was withdrawn from the agenda um, following concerns from Planet Council about, um, I think they said factual inaccuracies was their phraseology, um, relating to the issue um, on the former Manston Airport. So the report, the version that you've now got before you, addresses and its concerns, um, and they are, the bulk of those are reflected in paragraphs 120 to 126 in the appendix to the report, and they uh, really uh, concentrate on the processes and procedures that Planet have followed, um, mainly to do with um, compulsory purchase order possibilities. Um, so we've incorporated that material into this version of the report, um, but our conclusion is that none of that alters the recommendation. So turning to the recommendation, um, the five issues actually translate into eight uh, separate representations that we uh, recommend made to the planet. Uh, seven of those are objections, and one is support. Um, of the objections, uh, four actually relate to differing aspects of policy SPO5, which is the proposed policy that relates to uh, Manston. Um, one of the um, re uh, recommended representations relates to the strategic housing market Area. You may recall that was an issue that you uh, considered at um, your previous meeting when you agreed that we should be in the housing market area uh, with Shetway. Um, so consequently, um, it's logical to object to and its inclusion of us in their housing market assessment, uh, housing market area. Um, two of the other um, representations relate to friendly corner and um, encouraging planet to collaborate more on cross-boundary issues under the duty to cooperate and the final point is relating to planet parkway station was a very minor alteration that they want to make to that proposal which we recommend um, can be supported thank you okay very much. Shall we just go through them one by one then, the recommendations? We've been through this previously. Uh, recommendation one is just confirming uh, uh, the housing market area, which, which is Dover and Sheffway, and not Sheffway, uh, but Sheffway, as we agreed previously. Agree that? Agree. Agree. Okay. The further collaboration in respect of uh, the future of Manson Airport strategy. Yeah, you agree with that? Three. Under three, 
that no decision be taken until such time as the de development consent order has been agreed or not. Agreed. Then we're, uh, we're looking at employment space number four. Um, that's justification. There was no proper assessment being given as to justification of why is that? That's correct, yes. Yeah. So increasing, increasing employment space that's not being properly evidenced. Agree that? Agree. And then we relate to uh, le uh, leisure and retail. And the point there, Mike, is it's a very similar point that um, we haven't found any evidence behind that and uh, we want to be assured that it wouldn't impact um, adversely on our retail office. Exactly. Okay. So no, no cooperation in terms of identification of impact on our, on our retail offer and our new developments. Great. Great. Okay. <coughs> Next is landscape of people. <coughs> This is, uh, this is the visual effect. Do you uh, agree to that? Do you yeah. Yeah. Agree? Agree. Thank you. Park Land 7. We certainly agree. No? Yeah. yeah, just one brief point. Um, fully support Thank you. Park Way Station and aspirations to get a quicker journey time to Thank you. But I hope in turn Thank you District Council is supporting our aspirations to get a better journey time to the District. Wanting reciprocal uh, support yeah, under this one. Okay. So that's uh, Mike. That that would that come under our uh, review, will it? Our local plan review. Uh, yes. It would be. Sorry. Yes, that would be an, uh, an issue that we would embody in our plan, and hopefully, and it would support us in, in that. Okay. So can we have some wording for that then? And would encourage uh, and, and would encourage that district council to uh, recognise and reciprocate journey uh, in recognising the journey times through through to Dover district. Um, then we're on to Brenley Corner. Uh, that's in effect an admission. The lead, lead the fact that Council spoke to me about that one said that they are they are hundred percent behind the Brendan Court issue, they've just not itemised it presumably. Is that the point? Um, yes, that, that's right. Um, as, as far as we can see, the impact of their all of their plan proposals on Brendan Corner um, hasn't actually been uh, assessed and um, and judged. Uh, so that's really what we're calling for, um, to make sure that it's not going to prejudice us in, in, some, in some way. Okay. So what you're after is, is between them and Ken County Council, a strategic assessment? Uh, yes, and, and um, Highways England as, as well. Right. Um, I mean, presumably they would both comment on, on the plan, but um, I, I think our, our recommendation is that that issue needs to be overtly uh, considered and uh, there be some uh, documentation that we can actually uh, view and assure ourselves that um, it's workable. Okay. Yeah. Keith? Uh, I was just going to say, I'm surprised that none of those other agencies I mentioned, and also the left, of course, will have a um, well, yes, they will. I mean, essentially, um, uh, the way that we've expressed this is that uh, we want to be looking for an assurance from Thanet that uh, the impact on that junction has been looked at, and we can understand what the what the outcome is, and then take a judgment as to whether it's acceptable or not. Um, Thanet doing that would, one would assume, liaise with the highway authorities and anybody else who's, who's relevant to, to that issue. Okay. But as we're making representations to Thanet and it is their plan, 
we can't really call on other agencies. Yeah. So in effect, this is being excluded from the local, uh, uh, the, the transport element of the local track, that's the point, is it? Uh, yes, it just doesn't appear to have been uh, assessed, as far as we can see. Right, okay, Roger. Thank you, Chair. <coughs> A guy who now has been up around the corner is not in panic. And uh, any alterations of Brandy Corner, we need to know if Mark said or indicated, um, doesn't need to be at the detriment of traffic coming in the A2 stone. Mm -hmm. So the reference is here that we want something, we'd like to see some cooperation including not Brandy Corner in, in their local plan and, uh, and its strategic significance to, to the start of East Kent and have that in Europe. That's basically it. Are you agree that? Okay. I think that probably then takes the whole of the eight break, the whole of the eight recommendations. So you finally agree that the composite of all of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay.